What's going on my dog Bill Steam Money here and today I'm going to be showing you or reviewing my ultimate Spider-Man cosplay. The one I did in pizza time. So right now I'm in just normal clothes, sort of Peter Parker-ish. I got my cool backpack that I would use for either my homecoming suit if I'm not going to use my uh, Captain America shield backpack, I got jeans, and then my cool Deku shoes. Boom, there. But, one cool thing I love about my new suit is I can easily wear it under any of my outfits. This is an awesome suit. Let me get all the way into it for you. I gotta say, it's pretty tough to try and find a good camera angle in uh, this room. So, I'm just going to go from here. Uh, here's the suit, and you've already seen it before in Pizza Time and in a couple other videos. But, uh, as I finish putting on some key parts, I'm going to go over it. So, I really like how it's all smooth and such. I got detached gloves, a U-shaped zipper, and... Uh, I don't have this back part zip up because I don't normally zip that part up until I have the mask on and I really like the way how it's just long enough that it covers what's already there and if I ever do stretch my arm out enough and the glove starts to slip up it just it still looks natural I didn't go with forearm zippers just because I'm really more of a detached glove guy, but for some suits, I do see that it's a lot better. I have it on my uh, Amazing Spider-Man suit, and one thing I also really like about this suit is I started using Kung Fu shoes. This is them, uh, even though right now it looks like regular soles, but once I put them on, you will see uh, I have the whole sock on there in case of like I want to go back to the trampoline park or just wear them around the house right now or in a green screen. For those that are new to Kung Fu shoes, there's a little zipper on the side and you just pull the fabric up and you will see the shoe in there. You pull apart the sides so that way the sole is exposed and you just slip it in and wrap it around your heel and ankle and then you just line up the webs as much as you can. It's a little tough to do uh, when you have the sock on a certain way. Just stretch it as much as you can then zip it up. Try and get it how you want it and boom. It is so nice. I'll be able to do a lot more bigger stunts with this thing on. Next, I have my web shooters. These ones I did make, and I have a video explaining how I made them. And I don't really see a reason why I would need to explain more about them. So I'm going to talk more about where I got this suit from and who's it designed by. I believe the designer of the suit is El Macho. And I got the suit from Heroes Time. Now, the first time I got the suit, it was the suit from Pizza Time. Yes, this is actually a completely different suit. I, the Pizza Time one, it was just a little too tight. This one, perfect. I love it so much. And I called, or called, emailed Heroes Time, let them know, hey, uh, the first suit didn't really fit. I ordered a new one, which wasn't this one, and so I have a total of three of these suits. One, a little too tight. Second one, I actually completely, like, don't know what happened to the measurements when they were entered in, but the, the suit did not fit from the waist up. Couldn't get my head into this sock, and they're like, don't worry, we'll help fix everything, we'll, uh, since you bought two of our suits and supporting us, uh, we'll, we'll get you a new one, but we won't print out a, I think it was another mask. Yeah, it was another mask, gloves, and shoes. And I said, that's perfectly fine. 
Um, thank you for helping me and their customer service is great. Hopefully they're watching this video and if you are a hero's time, thank you. Like, I really appreciate this and this suit is, hopefully it's going to be the main suit that I wear on this channel, but it, it's going to be a toss up between my homecoming one and I don't know what else I have in the future coming. Also, I'm not always going to have these web shooters on. Now we, now here we have my Spider-Man PS4 and lenses face show from my grand studios up on Etsy. I gotta say, this is an amazing look for this suit. Love it so much. Uh, let's get a full view of the suit. So this is pretty much the best I could do for a full view right now. Because you guys are against a wall. Further back I go, I feel like it'd be harder for you to see all the details I'm pointing out. But this suit, it's amazing. Love it so much. The back spider is cool. And it's just awesome. My lenses are fogging up just a little more than usual. Not quite sure why that is. Hopefully you guys can all hear me. I'm talking a little, no, little louder than normal. I just love the shiny look of the suit and the way it feels. It's just really nice. One great thing about the web shooters too is when the glove sleeve does slide up, it hides it a bit. So it's really good. Here's the shoes. Oh, if you guys are really old fans, you'll remember from my very first suit unboxing review that I tried to do a jump kick. Let's try and recreate that. Hopefully it does not end the same way. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. There we go. I'm a lot better now than I was then. The brick pattern on the blue and red is just amazing. I love this so much, guys. Another thing I really like about this suit is the spider. Now, there's a lot of unique different spiders out there now, but I gotta say, this one reminds me a lot of, well, I'm pretty sure it's the Miles Morales spider, just black and doesn't have that red line there, but it's very, very close to the spider that when, uh, in the Ultimate Universe, when Peter Parker, like, everyone thought he was dead, ended up being alive and uh, don his red and blue to help fight Miles Morales, or help fight Green Goblin with Miles Morales the first time. But I just love this so much. It Look how great it shines in the light. That's awesome. And then, oh, I want to see the back spider on here too. Like, some of the shading on here, it's just like, it's good. And with this backpack, I just love the backpack itself. It's really great. I love the black straps on it. And right now I have my face shell in there. And I also sometimes put my web shooters in there. Even without the web shooters though, it still looks great. I'm not a big fan of like organic web shooters though, so that's why. You can guarantee that this suit's going to be all over my social medias. I'm talking my Instagram, my Twitter, my Patreon. My Patreon has already pictures of me like in the city with this suit on and it looks great. Of course it doesn't, it's not updated to uh, where it's got that face shell, but hopefully I could get some good pics with that. Alright, let's uh... Wow, it is hot in here. Like, just sticking my hand in there, like... Okay, my hand's cold. I hope you all enjoyed this video. This is an amazing suit. Definitely, by far, one of my favorites that I've ever owned. And after this video is done being recorded, I'm going to be taking a buttload of pictures for my Instagram. So if you want to check out more of this suit, hop on over there. There's also going to be stuff for my Patreon. So become a partner today so that way you can get shout outs in my videos and also you'll be able to support me in getting more props and costumes 
and equipment for this channel and like just look I was able to get this suit with your guys' help so just keep on supporting me I love all of you comment down below any questions you have or any video ideas that you want me to do and man I have so much planned for the future it's gonna be great have a great day everyone rate comment subscribe follow me on Instagram and all my other social medias have a great day bye Flip.